Hey there folks, Lord Thunder Monkey back here again with you doing another mod review. This time we're looking at, and I do apologize because I'm probably going to butcher it, the Sigma Bronte 3000. And as always, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, give me a thumbs down. Either way, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how I can make it better, or how I can screw it up a whole lot more for you guys. But if you really liked it, subscribe, follow along, check out the rest of my Let's Plays, as well as my other mod reviews. And a big shout out to the modders, because I am not a modder myself. I get lost in the studio. Thank you guys very much for adding new content to the game like this. I am going to be critical of it, just because when I do my Let's Plays, I like to make sure I have something that's really, really nice looking and fits really well with uh, a realistic gameplay setting. And I also like everybody who's watching the videos to know what it is that they're purchasing and how it's going to affect their gameplay. But again, thank you very much for doing this for us. Let's check it out in the shop. It is listed under plows, as I can see it is there, a ripper. And you'll find it the Sigma machine here. I'm probably killing it here. But there are no upgrades. It'll cost you $13,500. $5 a day past that. 4 meters wide. So it's not huge. It runs 100, uh, 180 horsepower is its minimum. And it will go at a, at a speed of about 5 miles an hour. So you're not going to go flying through the field. But you know what? You're deep ripping. And those things look aggressive. So let's get a close look at this guy. Get right up close. The closer I get, the more I like it shading I mean if you want to get real technical as I get right in here you can see that this doesn't look like a smooth edge right you can see how, how it's individual pieces that that, that ate the curve and this curve mind you I'm darn near licking the machine right okay so like I said I'm getting way over the top but it's got nice I mean it's got the ripper on back it's got the ripper it's followed up with these guys those are, those are just violent looking it's got nice decals on it going all the way around. The bolts are properly placed. You know, I mean, I suppose you could have threading on the bottom here. Like I said, I'm way up in this thing's... I'm up this thing's butt, if you will. It's got decals. He's got hoses running around on it. That look all proper and right. And your pins, I mean, they're hanging there waiting. They could technically... Okay, if it... To get actual to realistic here where I'm not, you know, just really, really just being nitpicky to be nitpicky. I mean, because I'm going over the top, don't you think? Um, this could have uh, hose connections on it. I mean, that's my most, out of all the stuff I've looked at, that's the only thing that I'm realistically saying, hey, you know what, you could have done a different here. Oh, and the hydraulics could be, you know, better looking, sil uh, you know, different silver color. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's about as much as I'm going to be able to nitpick this thing. I mean, I really had to nitpick it. I had to. I finally found a thing that uh, well, uh, it could have been done better. One thing, actually, two things: the hydraulics. But for the most part, you're never going to notice that unless you're really somebody who's just watching to see everything's absolutely 100% realistic. So let's hop out here. Let's see how that, that hitched on. Nice. Let's see it hit. Locks right in there. We're going to try to get up. I'm trying to see where those hoses went into. Those hoses actually disappeared. They came off the front. Now let's just take a look here. So we'll disconnect it. You can see that they come back and then they just disappear. So yeah, three things. All of them minor at this point. Very, very minor. A really nice looking mod all the way around. Um... Yeah, definitely would be having this in my gameplay. I mean, it's just, I like it. It looks, I, I suppose my favorite part is it looks violent. <laughs> it just looks evil. So let's go ahead and hire a helper here and see how we do. This is 280 horsepower and, oh, all oh, the animations are wonderful. And it's running, it's running five miles an hour, four or five miles an hour without much of a problem at all. You can see it's, it, I mean, I've got the terrain and mods and everything going. We're just going to hop out here and we're going to get a look as it goes along. And you can see those guys are dug in there real good. And it's just beating it up. He's got the animations at the back. back. It's just flopping that dirt around. That is nice. Let's block you one more time, Lou. Alright, so let's unhire you. Just take a look at that as it goes in. Whoop. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this on my own. But yeah. And even the spin, you know, where they just kind of get bumped. It gets dirty. It's a nice looking machine. And it's 
very nice. So yeah, if you guys like this mod, um, let's get it out here so you can see it. Get this guy up on. If you guys like this mod, definitely add it to your folder. Don't forget to thank the modders. If you like the video, don't forget to share it with your friends. Perhaps they can come along, check out some of my videos, and subscribe as well. That would be fantastic. Thanks, you always, as always, for watching. I'm Lord Thunder Monkey. I'll catch you guys next time.